The year was 1975, and television screens across the nation were graced by the presence of a remarkable series Wonder Woman. As we delve into the captivating world of this iconic show, you might find yourself wondering, are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this TV series that fascinate you? Or perhaps, do you have a cherished memory associated with this TV series? Now, let's unveil some intriguing tidbits about Wonder Woman that might pique your interest. From the empowering portrayal of Diana Prince by Linda Carter to the show's impact on pop culture, this series left an indelible mark. So, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Linda Carter believes that moving the TV series Wonder Woman from the 1940s to a different era contributed to its permanent cancellation. She argues that the character's most popular stories are set in the 1940s, and the same applies to the TV series. She thinks that if the show had stayed in that era, it might not have been taken off television. Lyle Wagoner, another actor in the series, also shares this viewpoint in interviews. They believe that a change in the show's time period played a role in its cancellation. The TV series Wonder Woman from 1975 underwent notable changes during its run. One significant alteration was the transformation of Wonder Woman's costume. In the first season, her costume featured an eagle emblem on the bra. However, in the second season, the design shifted to a pair of interlocking WS on her chest, resembling an eagle. This costume change reflects a pivotal moment in the character's evolution, and still influences her costume design today. These alterations were limited to the costume. In one episode titled Anschluss 77, there was a daring helicopter stunt. Actress Linda Carter's stunt double initially performed it, but the camera revealed the stand-in. In a surprising move, Linda Carter decided to take on the stunt herself without prior notice, shooting the scene without protective wrist guards, which didn't sit well with the producers. The series also saw tensions between its stars, Linda Carter and Lyle Wagoner, which led to them appearing in fewer scenes together. To address this, a new character, played by S. Pearl Sharp, was introduced to give Wagoner's character more screen time. Ultimately, the series concluded with Diana's relocation to the Los Angeles Bureau of IADC. These changes and behind-the-scenes dynamics provide a fascinating insight into the 1975 TV series Wonder Woman, offering a glimpse into its evolution and challenges during its run. The episode of Amazon Hot Wax in the 1975 TV series Wonder Woman faced an unusual fate. It was initially removed from American syndication due to a music rights dispute, which left fans of the show disappointed. The episode, like many others of its time, featured popular songs that were integral to the storyline, and the legal issues surrounding music rights often led to episodes being shelved or altered. However, it was eventually restored for the 2005 DVD release, much to the delight of devoted Wonder Woman enthusiasts. This restoration marked a turning point in the availability of classic television series on home video, highlighting the importance of addressing legal obstacles to bring beloved episodes back to their fans. The 2005 release allowed a new generation of viewers to experience the adventures of Wonder Woman and her iconic Amazonian world, while giving longtime fans the chance to relive the nostalgia. Additionally, the episode found its way back to television screens when it aired on memorable entertainment television, creating a wave of excitement among fans. The resurgence of Amazon Hot Wax showcased the enduring appeal of the Wonder Woman series and its ability to captivate audiences across different eras. This episode's roller coaster journey in and out of the series reflects some of the challenges and quirks that the show experienced during its run. From legal disputes to changing broadcast platforms, the story behind Amazon Hot Wax serves as a testament to the enduring legacy of Wonder Woman and the determination of fans to see these iconic episodes preserved and shared with new generations. The TV series Wonder Woman from 1975 had some significant differences from the comic book version. On the show, Wonder Woman's powers were maintained by her belt while she was away from Paradise Island unlike the comics where her powers came from Amazon training or gifts from Greek gods. Moreover, in the comics, removing her bracelets would lead to a loss of control, but on the show, she often removed them without incident. Instead, her strength was linked to the magic belt. 
These variations set the TV Wonder Woman apart from her comic book counterpart. This unique take on the character added a distinctive twist to the series, making it a notable adaptation of the iconic superhero. Wonder Woman's trademark spin-around transformation was originally going to be done on an electronic platform until Ms. Carter volunteered to just do a pirouette herself, utilizing her ballet training. This iconic spin, performed by Linda Carter, became a signature move for the character, and it's interesting to note that it almost took a different form in the series. This small but pivotal decision added a unique touch to the show, showcasing the dedication and skill of its star. Stay tuned for more insights into the 1975 TV series Wonder Woman. Linda Carter had $25 left in her bank account when she got the call that she had landed the part of Wonder Woman in the 1975 TV series. She beat 2,000 other actresses to the part. This remarkable fact underscores the significant journey that led to the iconic portrayal of Wonder Woman by Linda Carter. Despite the financial challenges, her casting marked a turning point in her career and the history of the series. Stay tuned for more insights into the 1975 TV series Wonder Woman, exploring the impact of Linda Carter as the legendary superhero. The 1975 TV series Wonder Woman, starring Linda Carter, had its unique take on the iconic superhero. One remarkable aspect was how the show handled its wartime setting. The episodes set during World War II featured Wonder Woman taking on enemies exclusively from Nazi Germany, with producers deeming them the ultimate evil. While passing references acknowledged threats from Japan and Italy, the focus remained firmly on the Nazis. Notably, one modern-era episode included flashbacks to Wonder Woman's appearance at a Japanese internment camp during the war, highlighting a different aspect of the conflict. Another interesting tidbit about the series is its costume design. Initially, costume designer Donfeld created a red, white, and blue two-piece bikini for Linda Carter to wear as Wonder Woman when in the water. However, this bikini didn't stay put as needed during filming. Consequently, the production team opted for a full-body wetsuit, a practical choice that solved the issue and became a distinctive part of Wonder Woman's on-screen attire. In a curious crossover of sorts, some of the sound effects used in the TV series were borrowed from the popular show Star Trek, adding an extra layer of familiarity to the electronic and computer sounds in Wonder Woman. This subtle connection between two beloved series provided a sense of continuity for fans of both shows. These intriguing facts shed light on the unique elements of the 1975 TV series Wonder Woman. From its exclusive focus on Nazi enemies during the wartime episodes to the practical costume change and the use of familiar sound effects, the show's distinct characteristics contribute to its enduring appeal. As we draw the curtain on our journey through the timeless realm of the 1975 TV series, Wonder Woman, it's impossible not to be captivated by the profound impact it has had on generations of viewers. This iconic show, with its strong and inspiring heroine, Diana Prince has etched its indelible mark in the annals of television history. The lasso of truth, the invisible jet, and the resounding call of Wonder Woman are not mere relics of the past. They are symbols of empowerment, courage, and the enduring spirit of feminism. As you've traversed the nostalgic landscapes of this series, perhaps you've discovered your own personal connection with Wonder Woman. Did you find yourself marveling at the way she fearlessly fought for justice? Did her unyielding commitment to compassion and equality resonate with your own values? Or did you simply cherish the fond memories of watching the show with loved ones, the anticipation of each new episode, and the sense of wonder it brought to your life? This is your moment to share those cherished memories and thoughts. We invite you to reflect on the impact Wonder Woman had on you and those around you. Whether it's a story of inspiration, a childhood memory, or a newfound appreciation for this iconic series, your voice is an essential part of the tapestry that is Wonder Woman. Thank you for joining us on this journey of nostalgia and empowerment. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated as we celebrate the timeless allure of Wonder Woman and the lasting legacy it continues to weave into our lives. Share your thoughts, stories, and memories, and let's keep the spirit of Wonder Woman alive.